I'm Cindy McGee. Today in the Macon's Clay Design Studio, I'm going to be showing you what a perfect modeling medium Macon's Clay is to make jewelry of all types. You can stamp and use resins, die cut, use clay cutters and finishes, or even get a great metallic effect. Today we're going to be making this extruded and stamped necklace. To make this necklace, we're using a 60 gram package of white Macon's clay. To open the package, it has a zipper close. You will remove the piece of clay you're going to use. I'm going to start with just half of this package. It is wrapped in an outer plastic wrap, which you would remove. And then you have this inner lining. Now you can either cut off just the amount you want, or you can go ahead and open the entire package. We're going to use probably about half for the first part. So I'm just going to cut off what I need. And once you open Macon's Clay, it is important to keep it in a zipper baggie or a sealed container with a damp paper towel or a moist towelette of some type. And as long as you do that, your clay will stay fresh for a long time for use later. If you're working with it and it begins to feel as though it is drying because it is an air dry, no bake product, you can add a little bit of water with a spritzer and it'll come right back to the original consistency. The first part of our necklace is these great extruded beads. And to do that, we're using white Macon's clay, which I've just rolled into a, shape, a piece big enough to fit into the barrel of our Macon's Professional Ultimate Clay Extruder. I'm just going to rotate the handle to bring the push rod back. Now you can hold it and do it this way, but it moves so easily, I just like to use my fingers and then insert the clay into the barrel. And then you would add whatever shape disc you choose to extrude. I'm using this number four, which is a circular disc, into that lid. Now this is where the magic happens. Macon's makes their clay core extruder adapters. These are available in two sets with different sizes. And what these tools do is they actually make it so that you can extrude the clay with the hole already in your bead. So you would add your adapter. Move this back a little bit to the end where your clay is. And then put your cover with your disc and twist. See that how it looks? And then you simply extrude. And as it extrudes the shape that you've chosen, again, the hole is already in that bead. I extruded two pieces of white to about 25 centimeters for this project. And then you let them dry thoroughly about 24 hours. And then it's ready to cut. And once your extruded pieces dry, you can do large, chunky pieces like these beads, or you can go as tiny as a seed bead like these, or even make tubular beads using the even smaller clay core adapters. So there are endless options with these tools. I cut mine to the size that I wanted. You can see I cut them down a bit. And I wonder, I hope you can see those great holes already in the beads. This really makes the bead made pro making process so much easier. To get this great pink finish, I'm using these great iridescents from Earth Safe Finishes. You can use a paintbrush, but honestly, I like to get my fingers messy, so I just used my finger. And I put two coats onto my extruded white beads. And after those two coats, you get this great finish. So the next step is to make our focal bead, which is this beautiful stamped medallion. And to do that, we're using white Macon's clay that we have rolled to a setting number one on our ultimate clay machine, and we're going to stamp it. To stamp on Macon's clay, you need a permanent ink pad of any brand, and we'll just ink our stamp and then stamp right into the clay. Now you can do this when the clay is still fresh or after it has dried. And I'm just gonna stamp my image and lift. And you can see that it takes the ink beautifully. So to make this focal bead, you would actually do this twice. We need two of these stamped images. To cut them to the size that I wanted, I'm using the three-piece clay cutter set in the circles, and I'm using the largest circle. And I'm just placing it over where I want to cut my image.
And again, we're going to do this twice. So once we have our two stamped images, while the clay is still fresh, I'm going to put them together to make the focal bead. And I simply used an eye pin, which I laid on the back, and then I put the second circle on top. And you make like a sandwich with that eye pin inside. Now you can either color it now or you can let your clay dry. To color it, I'm using permanent markers, which are another great option for adding color to Macon's clay. And I just chose the different bright colors that I wanted, and you can see how beautifully it takes it. I did allow mine to dry first, but you can color it when the clay is still fresh or when it's dry. The next step would be, once it's colored, would be allow it to dry for 24 hours. Once it's fully dry, it's time to add this beautiful glaze finish. And that is done with ice resin, which is a two-part epoxy resin. And I'm going to show you how to do that next. So once I have mixed my resin according to the manufacturer's instructions, it's time to apply it to our focal bead. I'm just going to pour it on. And it will sort of self-level, but I'm going to use the stirring stick to just push it to the edges. We don't want it to go over those edges and run down the sides, but we want to make sure that we have a good, even application of that resin. Now, Macon's clay takes finishes like this beautifully. It takes glazes like Judykin's Diamond Glaze is a lovely option, metallic lusters and creams. But another option we wanted to share was two-part epoxy resins like this. And you would let that cure, again, according to the manufacturer's instructions. And when you're finished, you have this great shine to your finished focal bead. From there, I simply added some jewelry wire. I made a, a loop on the end of my eye pin and some decorative beads. And I ran that jewelry wire through my extruded beads and added my closure. So this is a piece that shows two great techniques for making unique jewelry with Macon's Clay. We hope you enjoyed learning how easy it is to use the Macon's Professional Ultimate Clay Extruder and our Clay Core adapters and rubber stamps to make this unique necklace. Making jewelry with Macon's Clay is easy and fun for all ages and there are endless possibilities. Tune in next time to the Macon's Clay Design Studio for more creative ideas.